1929, we saw a huge change. Sound comes in. What does sound do? Sound completely changes the whole thing. Sound creates now an audiovisual technology. It creates auditorium, soundproof auditoriums, and it creates audiences instead of spectators. Now what happens is because of the coming of sound, and therefore the automatic coming of the literary word into it, filmmakers could just say it and not show it. So the entire responsibility passed on to the dialogue and to the spoken word. And actually, that is what the most stifling factor of cinema is. That people get away with all kinds of nonsense because they are saying it. So you go to see a, you know, a, a typical masala film and then uh, the producers are quite happy because they're saying, Nalla karutthirikka sa, Tamil, you know. There is a good message in this film, you know. And you would say, what, this is message? What is this film, you know? No, I have said it. See, the hero is saying it. He said it. And also, we have documentary films, which has, they just put, put up a lot of visuals, and there is a commentary track which talks about tirading all kinds of this, blah, 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 blah. And what are the visuals? It's completely dependent on the soundtrack. And with the coming of broadcast journalism, it has reached its pits. Because there is just a soundtrack. I mean, if you switch off the visual, you can make sense with it. So the sound is actually the real problem area. And therefore, we as young filmmakers, we have to first handle this aspect of sound, you know. 